One thing that you mentioned on your webinar is that you guys dropped the blue band, so it's only a four band instead of a five band. Can you explain what that decision, why that decision was made, and really what what someone might be missing out on, or really they were never missing by having a blue band? Yeah, that's a good question. Every every analysis is different, and every crop is different. So we don't want to say that there aren't use cases for capturing the blue band very accurately. There can be. We just found the majority of users were focusing on green, red, near infrared, and red edge for having the largest amount of discrepancy between a healthy plant and a stressed plant or a dead plant. Um, you really only need red and near infrared for calculating NDVI and some other indices. You don't need to, you really don't need the blue band. But what it's doing by replacing the, taking out the blue band, we now have room on that payload for that large sensor. So mm -hmm. like the Phantom 4 multispectral, we captured all of the, every band, but we're looking at two megapixel sensors. And now you can have this giant sensor capturing 20 megapixel imagery that you can then overlay with multispectral. So not just in agriculture, we've got a lot of environment, environmental remediation, oil and gas, uh, telecommunications, just a lot of uh, even railway that's going to be very important.